last week or this was it this week? Yeah, this Wednesday. And now they're one and one. So this is the deciding factor, this set right here at Smash It Up. Who is gonna take the advantage here because that, I mean that would safely put SK92 on the PR. Not only PR, but the top end of the PR. Sitting right next to Ven and Grandmaster. That'd be great for him. So as we start off game one, this is gonna be a cool and calculated set right here. SK92 has a very defensive playstyle, especially when he's going up against Ven. Doesn't want to challenge any of these hitboxes coming from Zelda. He knows how dangerous she is. Nice. Jump through. Caught onto the roll. Jumping over the knight, avoiding everything coming his way from then. Oh my god, except that right there. Putting out the nair just in time. Thank god a wolf has that crotch hitbox on his nair. Saved his life right there. Oh. The trade? Oh my, disgusting trade, disgusting. But that's the risk that you play trying to juggle a Zelda when she has the ability to throw out that forward air and that back air that are so good at killing. They kill like, oh, what, 60? Such a good move. Playing a little bit too close to the night as Ven bats him away with the dash attack and puts him right into his trap. He walks right into that one. Now Van walking straight into this up air. He's trying to juggle him still, but this time staying in his shield. How? I, w I should ask him personally. I wonder what the idea is behind the double forward smash. Like, are you trying to mix them up? Is it optimal? I really don't know. So now sitting at two stocks to two stocks here in game one of winner's quarters. Once again, I will remind you this is a best of three set. That was a beautiful up tilt into forward air. You don't often see that from Ben. And the catch with the forward smash, will we be able to clean it up? Oh! So many times here on stream, I just want to vomit from the things that I see. Seeing that, but once again, that's the risk that you have to deal with when you try to go edge guard wolf. You know the danger of the forward or the side B. And you know that it can spike, so why go out and challenge it? He had the knight set up. Zelda has quite the uh, she has quite an easy time ledge trapping. Uh oh, bad Din's fire in his face. Gonna take damage for it. He waits. I like how he's angling his shield a little bit there. Okay, stay safe. He just goes for the forward tilt, backing off, waiting for his opportunity on Ven to try to even the score here because he, or no, he has the lead. Trying to even the score from Ven's end. They try to sneak under the stage with the up air. That's a tricky move because it's deceptive. It looks like you can't reach under the stage, but Zelda absolutely can, and the back throw will be enough. SK92 not pleased with that one. That's crazy. He, he always looks so confused <laughs> when he gets hit. I'm like, bro, you got grabbed at what? Like, what were you, like 180? One, I can't forget the percent, but he was a very high percent. Nair? Okay, he has to deal the knight. He has to respect the knight. He might be able to take a second set off of Ven and prove himself to be the better here. Back throw, not enough. Ven with rage is one to be feared. But the up air, slashing away that fear. Damn, I wish I had my Cheetos with me right now, no cap. So now running into game two, and this is a best of two, a best of three set. If it was a best of two, we would have won it right there. SK92 at an attempt to psych himself up a little bit before the set, using a little MP. Because he knows what's at stake here. He has an opportunity to take yet another set and turn it into a three, uh, make their set count, uh, what is it, 3-1 or 2-1, excuse me. Because they're 1-1 one one right now in this season. As far as my memory goes back, and you're, you know, you're, you default to my knowledge here. You don't know. 
So this would be a huge win for SK92 right here. Because as we all know, it's, you got, it's gotta be two to make it true. Can't just win once. Knight almost doing it for the edge guard right there. Ven having a huge lead at the start of this first game. That was an amazing conversion he put together for himself on this opening stock, but SK92 evened it up quite hastily. Oh no, but he tried to grab him through the Knight. Did not respect the Knight's big hitbox there. My god. Okay. Gonna reflect it right back at him. Goes for, uh, he always does it, I just don't get it. I hate to say it, I just feel like it's a bad option to go for two smash attacks right after another. I know if you're trying to catch a spot dodge, but I, I just don't get it. I'll apologize for that one. I'm, I'm gonna stop bringing that up. So now, SK92 losing his first stock. Ven looking to extend his lead as he pulls out the knight, covering himself, getting back onto the stage. Look at the micro spacing from SK92. A little bit too slow on the forward tilt to cover the ledge. Still has the center stage control, still has an opportunity to kill Ven. He tries to go for the forward air immediately. After seeing the jump, trying to react to it. Oh, that should be a stock there with the back throw. Not even, he had no rage to his disposal there. And eats his own laser to, to boot. <sighs> Scary, that was nice. Okay, uh, he dies anyway, but it was a nice job from Ben to stay into his shield to shield that first dash attack from SK92. Oh, let's go. We got young Zerks on the mic joining us. As SK92 SK is poised to take the second game. Is, is Zerks' mic live? Your mic uh, is live. Welcome, Zerks. Am I alive? You're alive, baby. Am I alive? We're in it. SK92, I here? like I said, he's poised to take a 2-0 set versus Ven. I know. I saw it. Uh, he up Or he did something. Yeah, yeah. He up aired uh, the, for the first game for that yeah. last hit. But that would put them 2-1 in sets uh, for this season. Oh, but it's going to be a close one. Damn, SK92, he's really serious about winning this game. You can see the emotion right. coming from him. Like even though SK is like, you know, he's found like much success in like all these three games, you know, Brawl, Smash Four, yeah. and Ultimate. But like being kind of like that old head in the like, in the community, <laughs> like yeah. he really wants to do well. Like he has, uh, so he much... has new blood drive. Yeah. Was, like he he has the drive of like a new player trying to like just get better. But like put that drive, but to like someone who's like fundamentally like super sound. Like it's like yeah. SK is probably like one of the like the few players that like has like risen up super fast in the scene. Absolutely. And he had like a rough start, but now he's sort of found his footing in ultimate, and still has an opportunity to take it over Ben right now too. Oh, if he can just keep it together, keep his composure. Oh no, that's rough dealing with that back throw right there. And now he has to respect the knight. Oh god. Back throw. He has a little bit of rage, but still not enough. Wow. Oh, he's going deep. He, he had liberty to go that far. Right. Right now he should oh! watch out. That's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. He's going to get kicked out of shield. He was waiting a little bit too long to go for the back air. He was, like, setting it up forever. Right. And, you know, if anyone's played against SK92, you would, you'll you know that, the, like, if he jumps once, he's going to double jump. Right. Especially in, like, clutch situations like that, he's looking like to keep himself in the advantage. So he's gonna double jump yeah. to search for the back air. He's gonna like look for you to jump and then try to anti air you with like a really like a kill move. So like, yeah. for example, like you're like back air, he does that very often where he, like, he'll just double jump in place and just wait for you to jump at him or do something Yeah. The for you to like overextend and uh, yeah. He's trying to catch you, he's trying to catch you catching him you're right. on the landing so that he can start something, start something clean. Right. So now we have a 1-1 situation, and they're 1-1 in sets, 1-1 in games in this best of three set in winner's quarters. All right. Oh. Like getting his bread and butter. Attacking on 40%. Okay, just doing a little bit of back and forth. SK92 and Ven here. Wow, oh. the Knight reflected the blaster. That was disgusting. It was one of yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is big for Ven right here. Yep, the jump in. That's one of the... Uh, one thing that you should just watch out, especially against like a character like Zelda, who has just a lot of good retreating options uh, in advantage, because that's one thing they want you to do. They want you to like just jump in carelessly and do that. Like they want you to like, jump in, and so that they could lightning kick you, they could yeah. upper you. That was so smart from Ben. He literally trapped. That was like a perfect ledge trap. Yeah. Caught him jumping, caught him trying to fight the knight, and then forced him to jump. Caught yeah. the jump, 
That was one edge guard too? Yeah. One ledge trap led him to taking the stock and well, he's running away with this third game. Oh, another forward smash. Wow. wow. Oh my goodness. Only 30% on him. I Two stocks gone. Uh, yeah, if I were SK, I would have to take a second to compose myself as well. To have to come back from such a huge deficit early on, only two minutes in the, into this match. Right. And such a good showing he had in the first game. And even then, like the second game, it was a little, like the little mistakes is like what makes like the biggest difference in these kind of like encounters. How is he going to combat him here? Got to watch out. Oh Ooh. my god. I That's like exactly what he needed. Yeah. Ben probably tried to press a button and just landed with a lag of something and a force smash for it. Another edge guard. Ledge trapping. Yeah. Oh, that was scary. He spent his double jump there, but now he finds his way back to the center. Can he get the advantage here? He has to take a stock super early. He has to literally like get a zero to death. Oh, he gets caught out by the dash attack. It's so hard getting hit by that move because you lose all of your stage control. Right. How? You try to parry something. Okay, opportunity. Oh no. Just barely misspaced. A ledge trap and for it manages to reset neutral, but right now, like SK should just watch out for trying not to get chipped out. And it, like, especially like a character like Zelda that can kill you at a shield, yeah, he should try his best to not overextend. And right now, just, just a bunch of neutral. Uh oh, Ven yeah. is looking to just end the game right now. He's throwing out lightning kicks in anticipation for SK to jump in his face. SK staying grounded though, he's trying to land on him with a hitbox. He has to deal with the knight. He has to respect all of these hitboxes coming out. Oh, the landing up there to mix up. Okay, nice nair to forward tilt. A little bit of a two-piece. Oh, this is such an uphill battle for SK92. It's going to be a miracle for him to win this game right now. No. Then is looking indomitable. Oh, God. He tries to go for the force smash to catch something landing. He's throwing out all the stops, but SK is avoiding everything. That's what. the jump, but doesn't oh. get anything out of it. With the forward smash, again, just resetting back to neutral. And Ben super content on just, you know, staying back and waiting for SK to do something like that. Yeah, and there goes the dash attack. He tries to fight the knight, but loses. And loses the set. And now, he got a set versus 